Hello, good evening and welcome to PGTV. We're here fishing the uh, Hampshire Raven for the Atlantic Salmon and uh, I've come down to one of my favourite pools. This is Harbridge Corner and I've been lucky enough to take one or two fish down here. We've got spring tides, quite big spring tides from Christchurch Harbour. Um, so we're on Wednesday, we've done a, uh, an afternoon session. So I'm just going to have a go at this particular pool. I'm going to give Danny's banana fly a go, it's tied by, tied by Simon. Simon Delaney. Uh, Danny had a 30 pound salmon last year with the banana fly and um, I fancy taking the salmon out on the banana fly so we're going to give that a go. I'll show you how it works in the water and I'm fishing my guideline rod with uh, 5 foot of T14, 5 foot of intermediate, another 10 foot of intermediate and that on an um, iFlight gadget and I'm using a little um, it's a very small bottle head uh, banana fly. I'll show you the fly. Beautiful profile, and you'll see how that works in the water. So I've got three feet of 25 pound fluorocarbon on that, and I'm using my high light gadget. Right, let's give it a go. All right, let's just see how she's swimming. Oh yeah, that is swimming superb. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go out on this pool here, there we go, yep, she's swimming beautifully. It's got a nice bit of flash in there, so with the sun shining today, we've got the wind over our backs, so spay casting should be a dream. Now I've been developing my left-handed spay cast because I've got a slightly dodgy right elbow, so <coughs> let's get the line out and work our way down the pool. Eye flight gadget. So up she comes, bring her back, single spay, mend the line. So I want about 10 feet of um, running line coming off that gadget. Now we've got um, 60 mil, 60 centimeters of water off the east mill. It is uh, steady at the moment. We've had no rain for about two weeks, so the visibility is about ooh, 10 foot. It's very visible. I'm just tweaking it a little bit. Now you can see how. The water pushes off the inside bank and that gives me a nice holding position and the salmon are likely to sit on that crease but they could be over there as well and they might follow the fly around so just going to draw that back to the loading point I say left-handed spay up she comes form the sea and out she goes mend the line and it's important to mend that line to slow the fly action down and let that come around and with the sun hitting that fly, it's going to glow like a disco light. Very similar to, people are going much more refined with small flies, but I don't think we need to. I've taken out a lot of fish on big MEPS 5s on lower conditions than this. So I think they just need to find a fish, and an active fish, and put a, a decent sized fly on it, and it will take it. So up we come, bring around, fire out, mend the line, and working our way now to the hot spot. And you can see it on a clear day. It runs all the way down here. I've had follows through here. Now, right on the edge of that corner, there's a taking spot right on there. Now, there's a burn that goes down the back of the island, and fish sit right on that edge of that crease there. So just slowly working it back. That's working beautifully. You can see there's a massive hatch out. Olives and other flies coming out, but it's been an absolutely superb hatch, and you'll see trout rising on this lot. But uh, let's uh, tweak that through, work it back, mend a little bit, let it come round. That's lovely. Let that come round. I've had several fish on the curve round and say fish can take it right on the edge of that crease. So it's worth just holding it on the dangle and tantalise the fish. So backwards and forwards. So I strip it forward a wee bit and I let it, let it sit back a little bit. Sit forward and back. And what that does, it just invites the salmon on. Can you see how it's sitting lovely? And that's what we're looking for in, on the Aiden. You're looking for water bouncing off the bank, sitting on the crease, and uh, just working it backwards and forwards. Give some line, get a little bit deeper to the fish, bring it back, go back again, and that fly is working superb and it feels like a big fish. I'm not sure if it's a pike or salmon yet, but it hits it really hard. 
we're going to find out in a minute, but he's back on the lie. Let's have a look at him. Let's see where we go. He's walking up, which is good. I'm not sure if he's a salmon, but I've taken him on the banana. So let's just see where we are. I need to relay this line. It's not quite right. Head shaking. Oh, this feels salmony. This does feel salmony. Yep, I think we've got a salmon on. Yep. Oof. Salmon on, ladies and gentlemen. This feels like a salmon. That's lovely. Oof. Oh, yes. Salmon on. Lovely. Wonderful. It's really head shaking. We've had spring tides and he nailed that. But we've got a salmon on here. There's no way this is a pike. No way. Now this feels like a big springer. And this is wonderful, he's going again. Oh, oh, he's head shaking. Oof, good fish, really good fish. All right, here he goes, here he goes. Oof, oh, it's a big salmon. Look at the size of it, it's big. Oh, it's a very big fish. And he's stripping me right to the far bank. Just gotta slow him down, we've got a big salmon on. We have got a 30 pound salmon here. I believe it's about 30 pounds. Let's walk him up. He's taking that banana. Wonderful, wonderful news. So I've come out for an afternoon and we have got a very big fish on here and I've, I've got 25 pound fluorocarbon on and he just loved that um, banana fly. That, that Danny caught one last year, 30 pounder. But we've got a big salmon on here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try and get his head up. Up he comes, here he comes. Let's walk him up. Let's walk him up. Beautiful, Harbridge Corner, holding a big fish. And I think we've got something close to 30 here. This does feel big, really big. Let's walk him up, let's walk him up. Good hooking on him. He stripped off on a big run, but we're gonna walk him up. And he's right under the bank here, you'll see him come up. He's going up, look at him go. It's a big fish, really big fish, really big fish. Another three winter. And this will be fish number two for me if I can land him. And he's walking up here. He's right under the bank here, look at that. Right under the bank. And he's going right up. Oof. And he's going. There he is. Look at that. He's a big, big fish. Oof. 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 Oh. Big, big fish. Oh. Very powerful fish. Now we can claim in this back end if we can. And he's gone back up. Up we go. Oof. Oof. Oh, he's running. He's running up. Oh, he's going right up. Oof. He's broken the surface. Now oh, we've got a big fish on. He's stripping me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big fish. All right. Let's turn him back in here. He's coming towards us at speed. Oh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Look at that. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Right, let's just pull him round. It's a fish in the 25 pound class. Big springer. Oh, let's just get the net off. <sighs> net off. That's a 25 pounder. Wonderful. Let's see if we can net him. Let's see if we can net him. Took a banana. Here he comes. He is. <laughs> Almost out. Let's come out. Oh. Oh. He's gone again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. He's got caught around the rod. Oh no. We've got, to, got to be careful here. Got to be careful. Here he comes. All right, let's get him in. In the net. He is ours. Beautiful. Wonderful. Oh. 
So we've got a lovely big springer and that's a fish in the 25 pound class. Let's have a look. Out come the hooks. Beautiful fish. And it's a fish in the 25 pound class. Oh. And gentlemen, 22 pounds Avon salmon. It's an absolute clonker and it's a henfish, beautiful henfish. Just get him recovered and then we'll let him go off on his way. Beautiful, 22 pound fish, isn't it? Just gorgeous, beautiful fish, wonderful fish. All right, this fish is just starting to recover. 22 pound henfish, just gonna stabilize him, get him on the margins here. He wants to go, I just need to keep him in the flow. There we go. Beautiful. 